So this question, it gives us some information and then it looks like it's going to ask us a few questions. So it's giving us what it's labeling as the mass of uranium-235, krypton, I think, <laughs> krypton-92, I think a B8, I want to say that's a barium, barium-142. And oh, they're telling us it's a mass, um, but especially in the format that they are giving us, what they're telling us are the rest energies of these particles. So uh, let me make sure that I have this right, krypton and barium, I think. I have this periodic table here. I'm going to need that as a reference uh, for this entire set. So let me make sure I got the name for KR correct. I think that's a krypton, yeah. One of the noble gases, and BA. I thought there was a barium, but let's double check. And uh, yeah, okay, that's a barium. Good. <laughs> so, so yeah, if I need to know how many protons those um, isotopes have, then uh, that's where I need the periodic table, because in the format that's specified here, barium one forty two, that only tells me the total number of protons and neutrons. Um, to figure out the number of protons, I need to know its atomic number. Uh, I need a periodic table. I don't have that memorized. So barium has 56 protons, which tells me if I needed to figure out number of neutrons, it has, uh, I want to say, 86, 86 neutrons. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that is a lot. <laughs> so uh, it, it, I'm pretty sure barium 142 is not stable. Uh, but um, for however long it exists, that's the mass it has. So, okay, so we have rest energies of these particles, and I think we're going to need that as we answer parts A, B, C. So A asks, calculate the energy released in the neutron-induced fission reaction. Okay, so this almost reads like a chemical reaction, and that is frankly what it is. It's a, well, it's a reaction. It's a nuclear reaction, but it specifies that you had a neutron and uranium, 235 coming in. Those are the reactants and the product using the language in chemistry or the daughter nuclei or products are the krypton 92 plus barium 142. By the way, I'm pretty sure neither of these are super stable plus a two times a neutron. So in terms of energy released, really all we have to do is calculate what are the total rest energies of the two sides, incoming, outgoing. So let me use my calculator to do that, to do that calculation. So um, on the product, sorry, all the, on the reactant side, I have neutron, which has rest mass of 939.5. 56536. Five, I'm keeping all the significant figures in case the difference turns out to be small. Plus uranium 235 218942. Is equal to that. And let me do a separate calculation with a separate calculator. Uh, the masses of the product. Okay, so the products are uh, crypto 92. So 82568.67 plus barium 142, 13219.4.3, all in the same units of mega electron volt in terms of rest energy, plus two times the neutron, 939.56536 is equal to that. And comparing these two numbers, you can see that um, the, math, the total rest energy of the product is less. So the way it works out is this amount in the product plus energy released. So the difference is the energy released. So let me take that difference. Minus uh, 216 619881.56536 MeV was equal to this plus that, and that, the energy released, is going to be uh, 3,239 MeV. 
And uh, I will tell you that I actually forgot something in this calculation. When you um, look at the atomic number of protons in the... Actually, maybe I didn't. You know, I think I'm fine. I thought I might have forgotten the energy of the electron, but I think if I look at the atomic number of uranium, atomic number of uranium is 92. So I must have had 92 electrons as well as protons. And uh, atomic number of barium, 56, plus atomic number of krypton, 36. Yeah, that's 92. So, okay. So I didn't actually forget uh, rest energy of electron because whatever number of electrons there were here, they are also here. So I think we are good. Um, if I had forgotten them, it wouldn't have mattered because rest energy of electron is only 0 0.5 MeV. So in the distant number scale, it's a rounding error. So it would have been fine. 3, 2, 3, 9 MeV. Let's make sure the system grades that is correct. Nope. What did I miss? <laughs> um, oh, I made a typo there. Okay. Okay. Um, so let me do it this way. I'm going to just retype in everything here so that it makes easier to edit. Okay. So with that typo corrected, um, now the difference should be 21988.15653 minus 21972.10072. Let's see if, okay, it's a still fairly large, 179 MeV. So the, again, you know, it doesn't actually matter because we haven't forgotten any uh, electrons um, here. But if we had forgotten it, it'll still have been fine because, um, because, you know, in the size of 179.5 MeV, one or two electrons would be just changing the uh, adding 0.5 or subtracting 0.5 from this calculation. So 179.5 MeV. Yeah, so that should be correct. <laughs> Good. So what are the number of protons in krypton and barium-142? Give your answer as a tuple. Oh, yeah. So it's a number of uh, lookup. I think I looked it up. Oh, do I have it memorized by now? Krypton, 36. And um, oops, uh, 36. And the uh, protons in barium is 56. I think uh, I have it memorized from having looked it up. I don't know why it says invalid notation. Maybe... So tuple, this is, yeah, okay, that's how I'm supposed to submit it. Good. What are the number of neutrons in krypton and barium? So it's a simple arithmetic, 92 minus 36 gives you the number of neutrons. Um, so that would be 56. Oh, that is so confusing. <laughs> uh, 142 minus 56 gives you the number of neutrons in barium. That would be 86. And yeah, that should be correct. Confirm using your answer to B and C that um, the total charge and the number of nucleons is conserved. Right. So in the fission reaction, all that amounts to is just rearranging of where the protons are, where the neutrons are. In order to change the actual number of protons and neutrons, you need a, a beta decay, which is topic of the next chapter. So, um, so yeah, we. With uh, uh, 36 and 56 protons, total of 92 protons, that matches with uh, the atomic number of uranium, 92. So 92 protons came in, 92 protons went out. And uranium-235 has 143 neutrons. And uh, 56 plus 86 has um, 100. 42 neutrons, so you might think you are missing one, but I had the one extra neutron that came in and two extra neutrons that went out. So in the grand scheme of things, uh, I had 100, <laughs> not 100, um, let's see, can I keep my numbers? Okay, 143, in, oh, no, 144 neutrons, including this, that came in. And I had 142 plus 2, 144 neutrons that went up. 